We are underway under the Friday night lights of New Orleans. Berkeley Prep lets it Peter. And the Iowa State running back in the backfield, Xavier Townsend. He gets the give on first down, bottled up, but breaks a couple of tackles. A solid game of seven. Crowded box for Newman, eight in it, trying to stop the run. Here's a window for Townsend. First down and more, the all Iowa State commit cuts up field into Newman territory. It's a gain of 27 for Xavier Townsend. Finds a crease right off the right side, hits it to the second level. Watch the tight end number 23 do a nice job of turning out, finishing that block, and then you see Townsend bounce it to the outside. He's really dangerous. High-end three-star, right on the cusp of a four-star. He has shown that on this opening drive. Right back to him, why not? A burst of speed. More from Townsend, one man to beat. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Berkeley Prep. <laughs> 38-yard touchdown from the Iowa State commit, Xavier Townsend, to open the scoring. Talk about them being a run first offense and they established that on this drive great job up front they just did the same play took it the other way got the crease off the left side really nice block downfield by the wide receiver in which he finished that play running right through the tackle well everybody knows the super bowl winning uncles but if you talk to people at newman or his grandfather and his namesake archie they'll tell you that arch's dad cooper was by far the most athletic of archie's three sons and arch you look at the tape certainly carries dad's athleticism so you're going to see a lot more running from a man in quarterback. Dare I say a mobile man in quarterback, which obviously Peyton and Eli not known for. And there's Dad in the final row of the stands. It is a packed house. 2,500 people. That is a sellout, folks. Sandwiched here in the heart of New Orleans. We can't wait to get our first look at Arch Manning, but Newman's got something going on special teams. T. Williams, he lost the football. Newman on the bottom of the pile. It'll stay with the Greenies, but the home crowd, everybody aghast with that ball on the turf. Big play on special teams. They're going to run to reverse. They do not see it on the backside. Berkeley Prep, and they squeeze down too much. Give him the corner. He's looking to make a cut back inside. The ball pops out. Berkeley Prep had their chance, but ultimately Newman falls on it. Keeps a really nice return in play. Yeah, this is a family affair. We've talked to you about the Graham High School Football Showcase, presented by the United States Marine Corps, is brought to you by GEICO. Save even more when you bundle home and car insurance. And the Marines, the battle to belong begins here. That number 18 worn by all three Manning brothers in the 90s here at Isidore Newman High School in New Orleans. The legacy really starts with Cooper, the star wide receiver, captain, oldest brother of the three. A terrific career here for the Greenies. Went on to play college football at Ole Miss, but it was cut short due to a spinal stenosis diagnosis. And now his son, Arch Manning, taking center stage. At number 18, retired, so Arch settles for 16. He's got a third and nine on the opening drive. Pressure coming, rolls right, throws, and it's intercepted! Xavier Townsend, who scored the opening touchdown as running back, also a defensive back, picks off Arch Manning. Arch, very good thrower on the run. He's gonna get pressure, pushed outside the pocket. He's gonna try to lay it in there. A little bit over his target there. And you talked about the Iowa State commit in position for the interception. What a start for the senior Xavier Townsend. First offensive drive, you score a touchdown. First defensive drive, you pick off the number one quarterback in the country, the five-star Arch Manning. And he's got to stay on the field. No rest for Townsend. He's a versatile weapon for this Berkeley prep team. Lining up at wide receiver now at the bottom of your screen. Travis Bates moves into the backfield. Play action. Reader unloads a deep ball. Guess who? Townsend again. But it was ripped away from him. Interception, Newman. Xavier Townsend had it at first. Would have been a gain of 50, but ripped out. Austin Golroy. 
What a play. Well, off the turnover, Berkeley Prep takes a shot. And nice job by Gilroy of staying with it before they go down and ripping it out. Gilroy, a player with some Ivy interest. Dartmouth, Harvard, does not give up on the play. Is able to take the football away. That would have been Berkeley ball at the 15-yard line. Townsend, who just had the interception, gets that one ripped out of his chest. And Xavier Townsend back. He's been dangerous early on. A touchdown and interception. Now the kick returner turns up field, breaks three tackles, now some room. Here goes Xavier Townsend again, all the way inside the 25. Iowa State commit has been electric. A junior, he's certainly a red zone weapon. To the fullback, Travis Bates, and he's into the end zone untouched. Go, the touchdown. Both coming on the ground. This one from Travis Bates. Midway through the opening quarter, 14-0, Berkeley Prep. Arch Manning here at Isidore Newman High School. And uh, here's a play I like to run early in the games. It's trips right, Y cross. We have our tight end, our Y isolated on our linebacker, um, 14 to 16 yards across the field. We have an alert post, seven step. If this safety comes down, this X has got to win and uh, it's a big hitter on the post. It's a play action. This running back's gonna, um, after the play action, release into the flat for a check down. And if all goes wrong, you work your fourth and fifth reads, the backside digs. I like this play a lot early in the game. Gives you a lot of options and you can see the full field. Thank you. That's the number one quarterback in the junior class, Arch Manning, with Craig Hobart, Jay Alter, Mark Schlebaugh down on the sideline of high school football. Looking for a burst, and they get one with Will Zurich on a first and 15. Moves the chains on a run of 17. And you, met, you know, that's been the consistent message there. You see the block here. You may be able to spring the big run, give them some momentum on the first play, but about enjoying high school. Being a high school kid, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity about enjoying that. That's been a key part of their message the entire time. And now we see the mobility from Manning. Here he goes, a mobile Manning. That doesn't look like his uncle's one bit. Arch Manning all the way for a Newman touchdown. 60 yards. Exactly what Newman needed. And a mobile Manning, Arch delivers. that this new team had to have good gain on first down and then you see using Manning the athleticism that he has and the impressive speed once he gets he makes the right read he gets a crease right up the middle he tucks it see him taking it to the second level all the way to the house with that big play speed from the QB and with the last name Manning in the five star <laughs> Townsend again, the Iowa State commit. Been dangerous early in this game. This time, gang tackled shy of the 30. Florida. And they've traveled well. Here's Troy Reeder in trouble. Backpedaling, and down he goes. Kent Bachman, the senior dual athlete. He's a star lacrosse player in a sack of 18 yards. Now the defense responding, tackle on first down, and then you see Bachman out in space, running down the quarterback. Reader not able to shake them loose and get rid of the football. Reader goes under center. They're just going to run this, looking for 28 yards. If there's a guy who could do it, it's Townsend. He gets about half of it back. Play action. Pressure coming, and Arch brought down to the backfield. Xavier Perkins, the junior, blitzed right off the edge, and it's a loss of five. Berkeley prep a lot of size on that defensive line. Shrugging tackles. Arch Manning trying to turn nothing into something. Couldn't do it. Four blue jerseys in on the sea. T.J. Buller, the UCF commit, was one of them. 
Here's a burst of speed from Townsend again. There's a flag down that'll likely bring this play back. So explosive. Holden, offense number 54. A really good push for Berkeley Prep. Bouncing outside, now cutting back in. It'll set up a third and manageable. Got third and seven. Reader throws. It's caught for a first down. Guess who? Xavier Townsend. A touchdown and interception in this first quarter, and now a gain of 15 to move the chains. It's in the NFL. Recruiting is all the time. Here's Travis Bates trying to find some running room. And that's Arch Manning. Right now, Manning, the five star, forced to watch his defense on a second and 14. Hit as he threw it. It's intercepted. Kit Bachman had a sack earlier in the half, and now a big time interception. This will be great field position for Newman. And that was Ramaj Waiters, number 90. The defensive lineman was able to get upfield, get a hand on the arm of the quarterback to change the trajectory of the football. You're going to see him coming in, working his hands, get a piece of the arm, then the ball flutters. For Berkeley Prep, has his ears pinned back on a second and 11. Arch gets it out quickly. Slant route to Kai Donaldson, his first grab of the night. It's a gain of nine. Manning on a third and three, keeps it himself. He tried to bounce it outside. I felt like if he kept running on a straight line, might have picked up the first down. Needed three, only got two. Big decision for Nelson Stewart, the head coach in his 16th year at Newman. Played with Arch's father, Cooper, who was a senior when Stewart was a freshman. Going for it on fourth and one. Arch finds Will Randall for a first down. A big time call, and Manning delivers. And listen, it, I mean, Will Randall turned his head, and the football was in his gut. Watch how quickly he gets rid of it. Now watch Will Roll Randall. His head comes around. Boom, there's a football right there. Talk about timing and anticipation from Arch. And then a nice job by Will Randall, who got off to a rough start. Some early drops. He responds there with the slowly. He's kind of taken upon his shoulders a little bit more. Kind of some of the media requests as the ball's on the ground. And Berkeley Prep has it. Trey Reeder, the senior linebacker, falls on it. And that's a huge takeaway for the Buccaneers. Berkeley Prep defense able to respond. The football gets on the ground. Now the Buccaneers offense gets another opportunity with their explosive attack. Line it up on the right side of that offensive line. Big hole here for Travis Bates who runs right through it into enemy territory on a gain at 18. Let's go back to Hawk. He's been committed to an SEC program and now the Stanford Cardinal. Big hole again for Bates. And offensive line. He doesn't look like a guy who's only been playing football for a little more than a year. Well, Stanford offensive coordinator Tavita Pritchard in attendance next to Kirby Smart. Got a great block from Hawkins and Townsend. Takes it into the end zone from 15. The Iowa State commits second score of the night. And Berkeley Prep back up by two scores. All on the ground. Two of them belong to Xavier Townsend. The Iowa State commit making it look easy on the road. For recruiting, you never count on Alabama. When they're in it. Intercepted again. Miscommunication with the wide receiver. There's a flag down. Dallas Golden, as it stands, picked it off. They returned it for 18 yards. Let's see the penalty marker, though. It's in the backfield. First of the foul, rough the passer. The seven in defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. The drive stays alive for Arch Manning and Newman. Wave off the interception. Ball marked at the 35-yard line. 
Dropping back and then clearly, I mean, he, he got to pull off. Takes a good two steps before he hits him. And talking to him after practice yesterday, Mark was talking about him waiting for the coaching carousel, setting up a screen to finish. We asked him, you know, would you be interested potentially? Coach of the country standing at the 20-yard line. Look it on his arch. Blown up. Offensive line did him no favors there. And the Notre Dame commit, Keon Keeley, cashed in. Yeah, unblocked. And <laughs> you just cannot turn him loose. You see Keeley kind of disguised, moved to the other side. He did not adjust and pick him up and just got a free run at the quarterback. Pressure again. This time Manning gets rid of it, puts it right on the money. Great grab by Christopher Hunter, but Manning perfectly placed that for a gain of 18. Yeah, an impressive throw and the toughness. I mean, he just, just had a free rusher on him on the previous play, then stands in there with the... the Pocket collapsing around him and still able to deliver a strike. You're going to watch. I mean, you get Keeley up top, driving a defender right into him, a rusher off the back. Takes a big hit after he threw it. That was TJ Ballard coming off the edge, number six. One yard shy of that first down, zips it in to move the chains. How quick is this release from the five-star quarterback, ESPN Junior 300, number one quarterback in the country? You can't get a quicker release. Uh, I mean, he, listen, he's got a, a wealth of physical tools. Got to get the football out quick. He sees it, delivers it, puts it right on the money. The receivers are shocked how quickly it's on top of them. Clean pocket this time. On the money to Donaldson again. Bounced at the 20. And now Arch Manning and this Newman offense starting to hum. Yeah, had the freshman out there at corner giving his receiver some cushion. You know, that, that's for my Uncle Eli. That's not for me, but Lane Kiffin might tell you otherwise. And from 34 yards, Carney Neist makes it look easy. <laughs> you know, what is interesting, though, because we're under sea level here in New Orleans. The, the graves are actually raised. You, you learn something new every day. But back to football. Berkeley, no, no, we're done with the cemetery. We're done, we're done. No, we're done. Well, for Berkeley prep on this drive. Yeah, this time it's Travis Bates. It's a one-two punch out of the backfield. Bates already to midfield. Moves to the gun, play clock down to five. Surveying the field, steps up in the pocket, unloads a deep ball, it's caught! Xavier Townsend again! The Iowa State commit delivers. Timeout called by Berkeley Prep. Gain of 39 inside the red zone with 22 seconds left. He just, just wins a foot race. He just, like, just gets over, just wins with pure speed. See him up top, just running go around and see they're able the uh, separation he's able to create you know sometimes just you see the corner there he sat a little bit you got to be moving back you got to understand the speed and be able to come up and make the tackle if he breaks off the route but you cannot kind of get caught flat-footed against somebody as as electric as Townsend play clock down to two reader has to hurry I don't think he sees it a flag thrown, or did Berkeley Prep get the timeout first? There's a flag in timeout. the end zone, but a timeout did come in late. Get better, but I love the willingness, and he's already a quick study in that department. Reader to the end zone. It's caught for a Berkeley Prep touchdown. Xavier Townsend does it again. Third touchdown of the half. Hawkins is going to be working to Reader's right. You see the separation that he's able to create. And Reader able to deliver. Projected to receiver in college. Will be versatile as we've seen here tonight. Nice throw by the QB. Troy Reader. 
How would you assess the first half from Arch Manning and Newman? Listen, they've come up against a team that has a lot of playmakers, namely in number three, Xavier Tazard. They've had the opportunity that one drive they showed they can get the football downhill, put points on the board. They've been able to get some drives. They've got to maintain, do a better job tackling, and they cannot turn over. But certainly, listen, when you've got an offense led by the most talented quarterback in the 2023 class, you certainly have an opportunity to turn things around and make plays. Down, but certainly not out when you got the five-star quarterback, the number one quarterback in the ESPN Junior 300. We're midway through it in New Orleans. Your son Hyde, he put 30 pounds on last year to take over the center position and be able to snap to his younger, to his older brother. He said all this equipment started throwing it, showing up at their house. He turned their basement into a gym. Now he calls it his dojo. <laughs> I love it. Meanwhile, Arch on a third and long, making a big play there. Hyde started the game at center, out of the game right now. And Manning turning a third and long into a first down. Let's take another look at this. And yeah, this is an impressive showcase of his ability. There was, there was pressure. He was able to get outside. But once he breaks free, he still remains a quarterback, gets those eyes downfield, and you see the arm strength just to kind of whip it in there. Good coverage. Nice job keeping that play alive and moving the chain. Play action on first down. And it's Keon Keeley, the defensive end, going to Notre Dame. Picked it off right at the line of scrimmage. What a play this is from the four-star ESPN Junior 300 D end. He's done a nice job tonight of knowing when to get his hands up. He does there, and he's actually able to snatch the football. Impressive athletic play, showing the quick hands from the ESPN Junior 300 edge defender. A really nice job in 2023 so far. Fourth and four, Reader to throw, it's caught. First down, Berkeley Prep. Drew Kennedy right on the money to move the chains on a gain of 21. Oh yeah, they had the big tight end crossing across the field. Hawkins, he's gonna create a lot of attention. That allows Kennedy to be able to break free over the middle. See number 23 coming across. Defenders eyes on him. Canada. Seventh play of the drive. Here's Reader. Great pocket. Steps up. It's caught for a Berkeley prep touchdown. C.J. Hawkins, the four-star Stanford commit at tight end, hauls it. It pays it off, Craig. Uh, they are able outstanding protection from the offensive line and then the big target. They haven't looked him up much tonight, but they do here in the red zone and it pays off. Former basketball player putting on points on the gridiron. On the bottom of that defensive line. No penetration there, allows Arch to finally get some space. Newman needs him too and he does it with his legs. Big hit comes in, but it was after Arch Manning moves the chains on a gain of four. Steps up in the pocket, fires, and it's caught for another first down. Christopher Hunter on the grab. Around 70% completion percentage. Quick release again. Hillary, space after the catch inside the 30, spun down. Three big time plays for Newman on this drive. That one goes for 28. He right on his target. Quick release. It's again the accuracy. Seeing more and more high school seniors make that instant impact at the next level. Arch Manning off his back foot, slings it to the end zone, incomplete. A yard short of finding his tight end, Will Randall. Homer doing the same thing. We saw kind of Grandpa's legs in the first half. That last throw did look like Eli fighting through, just trying to get it out. He finds Randall here, picks up the first down. <laughs> Talk about pulling a rabbit out of the hat. Somehow Arch Manning moves the chains. He was in trouble. Berkeley Prep had him and somehow keeps the drive alive. Yeah, they roll him out. And he was looking to reverse field. He's serious. The defense. Coming that way, he's got to continue on, and, but always on, I think, is the tuck and run. We've seen tonight from Arch, the ability to keep his eyes downfield and find passing opportunities. 
How about Will Zurich fighting through, bulldozing into the end zone, the junior running back. Much needed touchdown for Newman. Arch Manning able to get him downfield with some nice scrambling throws, and they're able to block Keeley on that play. Create a seam, as you mentioned, there. Getting downhill and be able to punch it in. Hey, <laughs> would you? <laughs> Newman's defense needing a stop. They got a freight train running at them, all 205 pounds. Arch Manning's been to a few schools this offseason. I mean, excuse me, this season. But Clemson is one of those. The football is on the ground. Newman says they have it. I thought Berkeley Prep fell on it, waiting for an official signal. And it's Newman football. Sean Sutherland, the senior, got there. So electric tonight, fighting for yards, trying to spin free as he does. It looked like it might have been his own teammate who punched a football out. It was Kit Bachman for Newman, one quarterback in the class of 2023, Arch Manning. Pump and go on first down. Here's the shot. Too much on it, but a flag. Went deep to Christopher Hunter. Change, take a shot downfield. He's got it here, and you see the hand, the right hand. That's the right call. Yeah, absolutely. One to the right. Looking for his tight end, and he's got him. Will Randall moves the chains on a third and ten. Arch has been money in the third quarter on third down. And Will Randall responds. He's had three drops tonight, but here on the slant, you're going to see him right on target. Allows his receiver to continue to run after the catch. There is a lot of that natural. Yeah, a lot of that natural. <laughs> he's bred for football. In trouble here. Escapes the pressure. Manning on the move. Reverses field and then was tackled. There's a flag at the 10-yard line. T Randall in motion. Here's Manning rolling right. Arch floats it to Randall for a Newman touchdown. The junior tight end left alone wide open. And the five-star Manning put it right on the money. Newman right back in it. Just like that, they're right back in this game. Yeah, Randall responds. We talked about the drops earlier here. They bring him across. They're going to slip him out. A really nice job there. You see the linebacker late in coverage. They're going to bring the two outside receivers inside, brings the defensive backs with him, allows him to slip out. Talked about one of the things that really impresses you about him as you watch him is the poise in which he plays with has not gotten rattled tonight. Right now trying to rely on his defense, but here goes Xavier Townsend. Too much speed from the Iowa State commit. 74-yard touchdown as Berkeley Prep answers right back. Townsend's fourth touchdown of the night. And that one comes to end the third quarter in fashion. For Newman, they claw their way back into the game, and then one play as Berkeley Prep has done tonight with tremendous getting the job done on the ground. And you see there, listen, that's a diminutive player. He lowers his shoulder, bounces off a tackle, and then once he gets to the second level, Jay, you mentioned it, the speed. He's able to turn on the Jets and take it to the house. 13 touches, closing in on 300 total yards on the night. The namesake. And then his father, Cooper, two uncles, Peyton and Eli. Flag comes in, another defensive pass interference. Now, there's no doubt about it. He's in the family business. It's interesting, though. He never got any internal pressure from the family. Every high school sport was like Nelson Stewart. The world would be a better place. How about Townsend? Almost tripped up, and down he goes with the 35. That could have been touchdown number five.
they just do a nice job. They pull, kick out. There's a lot of green for them to hit. He he hits his top speed his first two steps. He is just so explosive. So he's now over 300 total yards on only 15 touches. I don't, I don't know the math on that, but that's impossible. Boy, is Iowa State getting a great player in Townsend. Eighteen point eight. Imagine it'd be tough to keep him on the sideline at the Wildcat here. Newman trying to contain, turning the corner at a burst of speed. He almost got to that first down marker, which should have been. Berkeley Prep keeps the offense on the field for a fourth and three. Right back to Townsend. There's touchdown number five. 29 yards to the house. It's Xavier Townsend's world. We're just living in it. Could you have a better night than Xavier Townsend? Five touchdowns for the Iowa State commit. And an interception on defense. He has been everything for Berkeley Brown. And did not need to showcase any toughness on that run. Just got to the edge and a lot of green. And of T.J. Bullard is committed to UCF. When he landed, he probably, the first thing he, he got as a fumble in the secondary was Manning on the move again, turns the corner, has the first down, and then takes it out of bounds. Piecing together of, of the body in the uh, edit there where what he kind of skill set he has from each member of the family, and he really visit and his knowledge of the X's and O's and the notes he took. And I think that that attention to detail is so important. They're unable to escape pressure. Wrestled down by Keon Keeley. Difficult up top. He's able to work off the block, work back inside, get to the quarterback. He's a player too, just a junior. I mean, just look at that frame. Physical ups he can be. Fourth and 15. Manning in trouble again. Gets rid of it, incomplete. And Berkeley Preps defense flexing their muscles again. They've been all over Manning all night long. No surprise here, Geico player of the game, Xavier Townsend, the Iowa State commit. Five touchdowns, 351 yards. He started his campaign right on that first drive and has really Never taken his foot off the gas throughout this entire game. Those stats don't even include the interception on defense that he had as well. Hey, Jay, I don't know about you, certainly got the impression he said a hey, no rush. So still, I think, still a lot of time ahead of him. And he told decision. us there's no timetable as well. But his recruitment will continue to be a top story, not only here in New Orleans, but across the country. It was great to see him take a 68-yard touchdown to the house. But tonight, all about Berkeley Prep. A dominant win, 49-24. They'll go back 650 miles to Tampa with a big-time win on national TV. Well, a lot of recruiting fans want to know what's going to happen to Arch Manning, but those in Ames, Iowa, are glad that they know where Xavier Townsend is going to be heading monster night from the Iowa State commit.